What's up guys, welcome to Crank It. Today, we're gonna be showing y'all how to go about replacing U-joints and drive shafts on these razors and stuff. This should work for any application on razors. On this specific one, we're gonna be dealing with a Razor AS800. So let's jump into it and get going. So what I do with mine is, you know, there's several different ways you can knock a U-joint out. I always just take mine because I don't have a U-joint tool. Put it in a vise and on these Polaris's, you've got these little, I call them half moon clips that fit in here on the back sides of the U-joint caps. Just take your screwdriver or something and knock all them off. And then we're gonna start taking this apart. There's gonna be a total of four locks, one for each cap, so go ahead and take all four out. So what you're gonna do here is you just want to drive this down, and what that's gonna do is it's gonna push the cap out of the other side and allow it to fall out, and then you can flip it over and you can drive the joint back down again, and it's gonna push this cap out, and then usually you're able to work the joint out, and then you can just work with one of the yokes to get the other one out. So what we're gonna do now is try to drive this one out. A lot of times whenever these U-joints have been in here for a long time like this and are stuck in here, sometimes that punch don't want to work right. So only thing you got to be careful when you're doing it like this, you spread your vise apart to where it holds one side of the yokes and you hit right here with a BFH, big hammer, and you're driving the yoke up to push the punch up push the cup up this way. So whenever you've got this small yoke in. If you've got a punch, or in this case, we have a metal rod that'll fit up in here to kind of hold pressure on it, then you're just gonna take and give it some taps here on this end to drive this cap up, and then we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing, just like we did with our other shaft. Now we're gonna take and clean up all this rust and stuff on both ends and get ready to install our new yokes, our new joints. What you're gonna do now is get, once you got this cleaned up and everything, is get your U-joint started in. And you, as you can see, this U-joint slides back and forth. And what that means is, is that all of the needle bearings that are in there or sliding back and forth on it and ain't none of them cocked. Sometimes you'll get some of these that lay down and this right here won't go up on there so far. And I've seen people, they'll take a vise or a hammer 
and they try to make it fit and it's it's not going to you end up breaking them and everything and then you get a bad use on right out of the get-go so there's several different ways you can do this i like to take a vise and you can just roll it and as you can see we got this side over here that's tightened up now we're going to move on to tighten up our other side so once you get your lock set in place and it's up against the shoulder here this yoke then if you have to gently you can take your hammer cup down to where we can get it to where we can get a lock on it and i don't know who made these little locks for these things but they must love hurting people's fingers we got it down we got it started on there so now we're gonna just like that now we got this one together so we're gonna connect it to the long part of the shaft Go ahead and install your grease fitting before you put your two halves together. It's just gonna make life a little simpler. What I like to do is take my U-joint, put it in here like this, and then I'm gonna take my caps. I'm gonna stick my U-joint as far as I can. I'm gonna get it started. That way I know all of my needle bearings are up on it. And I'm going to very lightly, just kind of enough to get this here started because I don't want to squeeze this together. And as you can see, all I've done is I made that where it sucker ain't just falling out by itself. It's just, it could still fall out because it's not in there very tight. As you can see, we got some of our needle bearings here that are trying to ride up. Just going to take our finger in there. Push them down. We're gonna go to our other side. Sometimes you have to play with it. Looks like our cap's a little crooked on this side. There it is. And once you get them lined up, then that's when you press them together like that and come off of it. Now, as you'll see now, they're still not exactly lined up. This one needs to go in further, and this one right here is a little over in. That's normal, so what we're gonna do is put our clip in this one, then we'll give it some love on this side right here to get this one lined up and put our clip in this one. And as you can see, this U-joint is moving very freely. If you ever get a U-joint that's stiff, you're having to really work it hard to get it to move, then there's an issue, and you probably wanna take it apart to see what's going on inside it. Or if you ever get one that no matter what, you cannot get these pins, or excuse me, these clips to line up, then you've either got an issue with your yokes being bent, or you've got an issue with one of your needle bearings being down, laid down in the bottom of the side of your cup. Now I have run into an issue with, and it's gonna be hard for y'all to see it on camera. This is the stock U-joint clip. Comparing it to the one that you get aftermarket or from the parts store, it is, thinner i've run into situations to where you have to come in here and not so much grind but just kind of smooth these yokes up to allow for the thicker clips to go down in here so if your yokes look true and everything you're still having problems 
it's not a bad idea to kind of just smooth everything up just a little don't get crazy with it because you're not wanting no slack and as you can see we don't have no slack in anything here you're not wanting no slack in this because then you have a vibration when it when it's running so we're going to work on getting our clips in and then start on our other end and work on getting this back inside our machine All right, we got this clip in here. So now we're just gonna lay it up across our vise. Just gonna give it a love tap. And now you can see, we've got plenty of room to put our new clip in. All right. Good old finger masher. All right, guys, so as you can see, we got all our clips in. Only thing left to do now, we're gonna shoot this thing full of some grease. And we're gonna flip it over and do this side. To do this side, you're just gonna repeat the steps you done on the other opposite end. This one right here is stiff. It's really loose that way because it's got a lot of slack in it. It's stiff this way. This can be avoided by maintaining your machines with proper maintenance so if y'all find videos like this helpful don't forget to give us a follow you can find us on other social media platforms and on other different things we have a tiktok channel we have a link in our bio to it that'll take you to our website that has a link to take you to all our free videos and everything and if y'all keep up with us on tiktok we go live there from time to time try to a couple times a week so if you have any questions be sure to keep an eye out for us on there we'll be happy to answer them for you thanks for watching